Hi, and welcome back to the mini farm. Today, I'm going to show you how to make streak tacos in the crock pot. These have three separate layers on them. It's the beef or chicken, depending on which protein you choose. Then it's topped off with a delicious sour cream sauce and then a pico de gallo. So stay tuned for three separate recipes that all melt together into a delicious street taco. And I'm also going to show you how I eat mine that is a low carb option and still super delicious. It's actually my favorite way to eat it now. Stick around and I'll give you all of those recipes coming up. But first, give this video a thumbs up if you like videos like this. and. Click the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Without further ado, here's street tacos in the crock pot. For this recipe, you're going to need honey, Worcestershire sauce, some oil, you can use avocado or olive, some apple juice or orange juice, minced garlic, cilantro, cumin, and some chili powder. And traditionally, this recipe is made with flank steak or a um, non-fatty steak of some sort. But I'm actually going to do chicken because we are going to have beef tomorrow and we like to do beef only one time a week. And I'm also going to do this in the crock pot. For this, you're going to need to mix the wet ingredients first together and then we'll add all the other stuff. You're going to need a quarter cup of each of the liquids. So a quarter cup of oil, a quarter cup of Worcestershire sauce, okay. quarter cup of the juice about a quarter cup of the cilantro, tablespoon of honey. This is our homegrown honey. One and a half or maybe two teaspoons of garlic. One teaspoon of cumin. Mix these together really, really well, making sure the honey dissolves. Just put your chicken breast in there. This is frozen and that's fine because it's going to cook for eight hours on high. And then just jump your mixture right on top and then cover it up and let it go for eight hours on high. I just got home. The house smells amazing. This is what the chicken looks like. We're going to let it go for a little bit and then I'm going to shred it. I'm going to make the sauce that goes on top of the tacos, the cream sauce. So for that, I'm going to need sour cream. If you're looking for a dairy free sour cream option, I have one on my Instagram. Some extra virgin olive oil. The recipe calls for limes, but we can't get limes right now because of the hurricane. So I'm going to use a lemon instead. And so the actual recipe calls for two tablespoons of lime and then two tablespoons of lime zest. Since the lemon is so much stronger than the lime, I'm not gonna use any zest. And then some garlic, some salt, and I'm going to crush this garlic, but you can just dice it if you don't have a mortar and pestle, or you can crush it on your board if you wanna do it that way too. To crush it like this, you do need some salt as an abrasive on the bottom. And just kind of press hard on the first one. Until it cracks like that and then do the second one and then you're going to work it until it gets into a turns into a paste got it down to a really nice paste so then I'm going to add in the olive oil really let it marinate in there stir it around then let's get some lemon juice adding in the lemon juice stirring that around a little bit and then I'm going to add in the sour cream. Just mix that in really, really good. A little bit of dried cilantro. That's an optional ingredient, but it really looks really nice in there. I'm gonna let this sit in the fridge until we're ready for our tacos. 
Okay, I'm just gonna shred the meat and let it sit in the liquid for a little bit. It's completely tender and completely falling apart and it smells so, so good. I actually don't even need the second fork. I'm just twisting one fork in there. I'm gonna let that sit in the juices for a little bit. Let it reabsorb some more flavor into the bits and make a pico de gallo real quick. For the pico de gallo, you're gonna need tomatoes, red onions, jalapeno, which is optional. If you don't like spicy, you can omit that. Or if you just want a little spice, just take the flesh and no seeds and some beautiful cilantro. You're also going to need a lime or lime juice, but I don't have any lime, so I'm gonna use lemons, some salt, apple cider vinegar and some olive oil it gives it a nice rich flavor let's get started with the tomatoes I just want to dice this going to take a little bit of the jalapeno definitely no seeds because my kids cannot stand anything spicy What's purple? Yeah. Let me see. That's blue. Okay, you say so. This is blue. This is purple. What about the blue? Yeah, you have the blue one. What's in there? I don't know. Sour cream. Sour cream? No. That's some sour cream in there. You really only need a medium onion for this, but all I had was one big large one. So I just cut it in half and saved the other half for a different recipe. Now I'm just dicing this into a fine dice. You just don't want to bite in on a big chunk of onion. For the cilantro, I washed it really well, shook it off, and let it sit and kind of drip dry for a little while until the very end. That's why I'm chopping it at the end. And I ran my knife through it a little bit till it kind of chops up, then went back through and really made sure it was a nice fine dice. Adding some salt. Some lemon juice. A little bit of apple cider vinegar. And some extra virgin olive oil. Just stir that together. The easiest way I've found to do this is to take your spoon, scoop it to the very bottom of the bowl, bring it back up to the top, and then just turn the bowl as you go. It's the easiest way to mix it without crushing anything. I'm just gonna let these flavors marinate together for about 30 minutes. It really bumps up the flavors in there. Do taste it for salt at this point. Make sure that you have enough salt on it. Other than that, it's ready to go. Just before we were ready to eat, I went ahead and put the meat in a bowl that I can serve out of at the table and then set up the dinner table to where everybody can just make their own taco with all of the toppings readily available with spoons in them. To assemble your taco, put a tortilla on your plate, then layer it up with the meat that we just cooked. Make sure you have a nice helping of that on there. On top of that, you wanna add your sour cream mixture Top it off with some pico de gallo. And you have yourself a delicious street taco. You could also add some crumbled up queso cheese to this too, but we didn't that night. For the lower carb version, you do the same exact steps. You just put it in the lettuce and then add in the sour cream mixture. Add the pico de gallo on top of that 
and you got little lettuce bites that you can kind of crunch in there and I really do enjoy the extra crunch. Oh, you lettuce out of the bread mm. So good. Hope you enjoyed today's recipe. If you give it a try, please let me know in the comments. I would love to know how it turned out for you. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you haven't done so already, you can click on my face to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.